What it do, family? It's your girl, Toot Night. I'm back with another video. Shout out to y'all, man. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. Thank you so much for coming back and tuning in. Listen, like, comment, share, and subscribe. That's all you got to do to support the channel, and it's absolutely free. And watch them ads. Excuse me. Watch them ads. Now, listen. Everybody know the whole debacle that's going on with CJ So Cool Royalty. CJ on 32s has been this whole big situation, okay? But these allegations done popped out. Now, um, if you see my reaction to CJ on 32s, you seen that I put a little, I put a little text for him. It was kind of insinuating that, but it really wasn't enough to be like, what the fuck is going on? And then royalty dropped her video and then everything just hit the fan. Now, uh, we're going to open up the lines because I got a lot of questions for the mothers. Mothers with daughters, preferably not even with daughters, mothers with children. We're going to open up the lines after this. So without further ado, we about to slide right into this video. <clears throat> let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. For the umpteen time, here we go again. Uh, this time, man, everything hits differently. Everything is hitting differently right now, so I don't want to, I don't know where to start. This is a very awkward position to be in, but going off the thumbnail, we're going to start off that. Going off the title, we're going we gonna, to, you know, we're going to stay in order, but a lot is happening in my life and around me. And I feel like um, the doors are closing and other doors are opening. That nigga said, this video, I'm finna wear me a chain. You ain't finna say I pawned all my shit. He said, I pawned what needed to be pawned. You dig? And it ain't no shame in blaming that. I will say that, bro. Sometimes you got to downgrade to re-upgrade. You just never know, bro. Everybody's situation is going to be different. But that nigga got that chain on today. Even if he had to rent that bitch. He said, I'm going to shut y'all niggas up. And that's a good thing. But in the moment, as a human, we, we tend to complain and not understand that God is working on us in our life. Facts. And what I'm realizing now is that's what's happening. Things aren't randomly happening. Things aren't just happening because other people are doing it. The devil is working through people just like God is working through me. I'm here in front of all of you guys literally being crucified by my friends and family. The mother of my child, all the way 3,000 miles away, in a car I gave her, getting smacked around the highway like a ping pong ball. And I'm being slandered online like life is a joke. Guys, I want you to understand this. This is very important, and it's coming from the soul. We only got one life to live. Why are we so wrapped around everyone else? and trying to bring each other down or who got more money and we missing a point. We got one life, that's it. I've helped so many people. I've seen so many smiles. I can't even count. I know I've been a blessing to everyone that I've come in contact with. I just have. So when I got that call yesterday, actually it was like 13 calls. When I got 13 missed calls from Nike, because my phone got to stay on Do Not Disturb because my baby mama gave my number out. I mean, like, you can't make this up. I'm missing calls. My baby mama almost burned to death in a car that I gave her. The only thing that I don't like with CJ So Cool is that, so, bro, like, when you are blessing to people, you be just that. You be a blessing. You don't have to always insinuate the shit that you do. See, that is very off-putting. And that wouldn't make anybody feel comfortable. And I just hope, like, he understands that going forward, Shada. Whatever you mean to do for your heart, you do it, bro. It's like every other... And I want everybody to count it. Let's take a count. You know what I'm saying? We already didn't miss two times. You feel what I'm saying? But throughout this video, let's talk about the number of times he say that he did something. It's like, bro, we understand that part. But it's just like when you say it over and over again, it doesn't make the actions and shit that you do seem legitimate or organic. You know what I mean? I don't like that. And I'm over here stressing out about who said what on my name. Who's believing what lie. Forget all of that, bro. I almost lost my baby mama, bro. The cool one. The cool one. I don't wish death on none of my enemies, bro. But losing the mother of my child is like something that you can't even prepare for. So I, I don't want to get emotional at all. I just don't. But uh, some things just require that. Sometimes you just can't hold back. 
Nike is good. God protected her. Kamari was in school. God watched over her. But what happened yesterday, if it ain't a wake up call for me or for Nike, it should definitely be one for y'all watching. This is not a scripted movie, guys. I know it seems like I'm going through a movie like being lying between love and hate, but this is just life. Everybody living life at their own pace and taking their own battles. I'm being punched from every angle. And when I try to announce how I feel, everybody come at me. Oh, you're weird. You're wrong. You're, you're bogus. You're not a real friend. That's why your friends left you. <clears throat> I never had a real friend that left me. All my real friends still in my life. All my fake ones are gone and exposed. If that's just how it's supposed to be. Am I supposed to hang with somebody forever because I introduced them to my channel? No. I don't think like that. And I'm not worried about the next man or the next drama because it's always new drama, right? It's always new drama. First it was, your daughter touched my daughter. Your girl touched my kid. Oh, no, 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 wait, it was you. You did it six years ago. Some allegations should never be falsely made. I mean, I can understand if you want to lie. I fucking agree. You know what I'm saying? You don't got to like this dude from a can of pain. And you can regret with your whole heart. You know what I'm saying? That he might be, in fact, your baby daddy. But saying some shit like this, bro, it's, 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 beyond, it's beyond YouTube. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I get it. Everybody want to get that next video, you know what I'm saying? That's going to just put some nice little change in your pocket. But this type of shit right here can't be erased. See, this shit is permanent. So when people be coming to this here internet, man, I be hoping they be realizing this shit because... If some shit is lying, it's, it's, it's going to be crazy as hell. I can understand if you need a video. I can understand you hate me. You want me to just fall off the face of the earth. But something should never be said. They just shouldn't. For those of you out there watching that's lost someone close to you in your life, I know you understand where I'm coming from when I say it. As bad as what they're saying about me hurts, it doesn't have anything it can't even compare to I almost lost my oldest child's mother. Do you see the thumbnail, bro? I mean, I get that part too, but they just as both are just as important. Because, I mean, my nigga, like, allegations of touching, you know what I'm saying, children, oh, fuck that. You know what I mean? As soon as I knew that, that, that Nike was all right, we got to address this. You feel what I'm saying? Because this is, this is not just, you know what I mean, or whatever. We seen CJ with a booger in his nose, my nigga. This is some real life shit, bro. You feel what I mean? And I just, I don't, I don't understand it. I don't, what I'm not really understanding is I'm not even understanding all the videos at this point. I, I'm just keeping it a stack, even if I'm him. Like, bro, it gotta be something a person can be able to do. Nigga, you talking about lawyers, talking about percentages with YouTube, shot it. I would be trying to sue the piss out of everybody for, for lying on me like that. That This can't be happening. I, I don't know. It's funny as hell how people just prioritize certain shit, but this ain't nothing. This ain't nothing to play with right now. In, in the era of Diddy? <laughs> the car is folded. It actually caught on fire. My baby mother blacked out and could have burned alive. But I gotta come on the internet and say, no guys, I'm CJ so cool, I would never. Bro, to the people that's been writing me, texting me, DMing me, asking me, how could you? Bro, why did you? Leave me alone. Please get out of my life. I do not need your support. I just don't. And to those of you that have common sense, that can process an actual scenario and think to yourself and say, this ain't right, bro. I know the difference between right and wrong, good and evil, truth and lie. All I'm going to say is this. Um... I'm not the I'm not the type of person to where you can victim blame because I remember a lot of people not believing Cassie at all. When the affidavit just in black and white came out, it was a lot of people, a lot of females too, who wasn't believing her at all. And then that video dropped, and a lot of people felt crunchier than a motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? Or whatever. So it's like in these situations, it's so iffy because you can never you can never pinpoint 
Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if it could be true or false because of how things pan out. Now, I would be the first person to tell you. I even said it in the video because I'm going to be unbiased when it come down to this type of shit. When I watched royalty video and then she laid out the timeline and shit, it was a little kind of, I ain't going to lie to you, it was weird. I mean, you said something happened in 2018. You feel what I'm saying? Whatever happened, all I know is it didn't happen enough because six years or so in the past, and now we here. You feel what I'm saying? And it just so happened to happen a month after, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the court situation. So it does appear to look a little like, is a nigga just talking shit because they mad? You feel what I mean? Now, if this baby did get touched, then I want his ass to get touched. I really do, but it's just, I just... It's just something, we, it was just something I felt in the video react, and I don't know, guys, and I'm the first person to advocate for a woman. It just, it just don't, I don't know how, it don't sound too right. It don't sound right, bro. Where y'all at? Where's my logical thinkers? Even my enemies should be standing up against this right now, bro. I'm just saying. The one thing that CJ So Cool has going for him is that kids love him. What did my top op say? Oh, you only got kids watching you. And I love the kids. They are the future. I want to inspire them. Because half y'all adults is already lost. You're lost, bro. Imagine following royalty. You're lost. Imagine subscribing to her and watching her content. You're lost. You are. That lady is a witch. Her mom is a witch. The first day I met them, I took it as a joke. But they told me, have you ever met a witch before? No. Well, you just met two. You will never get out of our life. I guess the only way out is death because they trying to kill me. Bro, I'm not falling for it, bro. I didn't even want to make a response. I would call the police, CJ. If you really feel like your life, I don't understand why y'all rather get on here than calling somebody, bro. I I, I just, I'm, I ain't built like y'all. Fuck these views. Because some things that are understood. Shit. I don't want to be loved understood. like that. This, this reminds me of one of them times, but... I feel like God is working through me, so I came to tell you guys an important message. And this is going to gonna help some people out there. If you are a child, a kid, a woman, a girl, a man, anybody, a boy, a teenager, preteen, young adult, if you are being touched inappropriately by anyone, I don't want you to ever go to the internet with it. I want you to go to the authorities automatically. There are numbers for these type of things. 911, 311, 411, Google. AI if you have to. I don't want you to think that what they're doing is how you're supposed to do it if it actually happens to you. Yo, I, 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 nah, that's, nah, that's I what I can't like agree that, with that. I wouldn't nah. want it to have been reported automatically. But for someone... Now, you might, he might not always tell the truth, but what he said right there is, the, is the, for real. You feel me? Say, um, it just dawned on me that I think this dude did this six years ago. I feel like Kobe Lane, like... Can it get any more obvious? I shouldn't even have to explain anything, but let's go down the list. I dumped y'all, literally dumped y'all. I said, get out of my life, get out of my house. I don't want to see y'all in my life. Go live with your mom in her apartment. They moved on, got a house. Everything was supposedly good. Then she kidnapped my kids. Then let's not forget, she called me three hours before I got shot in a brutal home invasion. Do y'all remember that day? Because I do. I posted a video and said, Lexi is pregnant. That night, mind you, I posted at 3, 3 p.m., right? I used to be very consistently posting at 3 p.m. anyway. My time. I live in Vegas. So, 3 p.m., I post saying Lexi is pregnant by me. It was a prank. 12 hours later, 3 a.m., I'm shot up. 12 a.m., I get a call. I answer the phone. Oh, you answer, she says. Where's the white bee at? I said, she's not here. She laughed and said, oh, so she pregnant now? I said, that was just a prank, bro. She laughed and hung up. Okay, I understand that part. And we've seen them videos already. We talking about right now today. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I mean, I, I get it. I understand this, but we didn't heard this story already. My nigga, these, this, they are saying you are touching folks. I wouldn't, I don't give a fuck about that happened in the home invasion. You good now. You know what I'm saying? What this, we, we talking about real shit. I went back to sleep. Three hours later, I was getting shot. 
I came out my own mouth and said, hey, this is what I told the police. This is what happened. See, that's what you're supposed to do. You tell the police the day it happens. If you think something happened, you tell the police. If you know something happened, you tell the police. Yeah. You don't wait and say, oh, uh, I'm going to wait until he beefing with CG on 32s. Then I'm going to tell CG on 32s to do it because I know it ain't true. So I'm not going to put it out first. But if he put it out, then I'm going to make a video because I'm falling off too myself. And I haven't posted consistently in a month. And I'm broke as hell. So why not rain on his parade since he's coming back up? I literally lifted myself out the dirt with no help. I contacted my friend, bro, I need help. He dissed me. Now my baby mama's trying to step on me because I lifted myself up. It don't take a rocket scientist to see that some haters will go to the extreme. I'm just trying to understand why this girl would say this. And if, and if, and if, and see, and what's bothering me with this type of shit is because not only did, did royalty do a video about this, but you know what I'm saying? Her mother even released text, it's text messages of her mother talking about these things. So you got two grown women, you know what I'm saying? Like this, I, you know, it's this little girl. I just, what would make, this is, this is crazy. They just do. Why not? Right? Why not? They got nothing to lose, but they do. Yeah. Handing out lawsuits is something I really don't do. But this time, nah, we ain't playing. We're not kids. This is real life. Hell and yeah. I have a real image to obtain. But let me go back. I get shot. She kidnaps my kids. Let me go back. I get shot. Two days later, I almost died from an infection from the gunshot wounds. Guess who pulls up acting crazy, ghetto, and ratchet? Royalty, who else? Smoking bait pens and crack or whatever else. Talking about, let's fight. Let's fight. What was the allegations then? Since you couldn't say nothing in 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021, 2022. What the? Why you pull up to fight? You had all this animosity, all this energy, all this information, all this tea. Where was it at? You got beat up. Then I had to take you to court. What was this at in court? This would have literally been the time since you already missed all your other opportunities, right? Now, see, that's the only thing that's a little iffy. Because, see, that's where it was kind of like getting a little weird for me. Because in 2018, apparently, according to royalty, there was a CPS investigation to where somebody felt like something was wrong, where CPS was called and everybody had to get interviewed. But at this particular time in 2018, they said that the little girl denied it. Okay, or whatever. Now, allegedly, you know what I'm saying? He offered her stuff and bribed her, and that's the reason why she denied it. Now, you fast forward into this year, and now I'm just trying to understand what what, what made her get triggered to say this happened. Like, it's just, it just, it was a lot of stuff that I feel like on royalty video she left out, and maybe she had to. You know what I'm saying? Because if this is an ongoing investigation, she can only say so much. And I get that part. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's holy moly, man. This would have been the time to bring up this lie. I mean, seriously, it would have. You're in court. You're going against me. I'm trying to get my kids back in my life. And you think I did that. You're not making sense. You just aren't. And not only are you not making sense, but you're exposing how much of a clown you are. You're also helping me because you're exposing that I've been right this whole time. Guys, I have been surrounded by snakes for 10 years. You do. I mean, but see, y'all both ain't got great characters at this point. And I think that's where a lot of uh, problems is coming on. You know what I'm saying? You do have, CJ, he has great traits, but then he also has, you know what I'm saying, and has had terrible traits. And same thing with royalty. So that's why in this particular situation, it is like so hard to really, really know what to believe because both of them have been caught up in webs of lies. You feel what I'm saying? So it makes it very difficult. I do not understand the pain that I go through just waking up. I am fighting battles every day, bro. Every day. And all I have is memories of me helping these people, bro. Like, that's it. I only have memories of what actually happened. The same memories y'all have, the camera footage, is what I have. 
That's all that ever freaking. Yeah, she did. I I, I seen it on, on on royalty video. She said that um they went through the court case and then um I guess when the court case was over, she said that's when her daughter had came to her and talked about it. And and I mean you can't help timing because I mean when you look at it right now, I mean you got R Kelly daughter right now. You know what I'm saying? Who's a grown ass woman who was saying that, you know what I'm saying? Her daddy touched her. And I mean, the thing about it is it's not far fetched because usually sometimes it does be the family members. And usually we be the last person to say something when it's the family. So I'm not saying that this situation does not happen because it does. You dig what I mean? It's just the way that it rolled out makes everything look so calculated. You know what I mean? Or whatever. Were you bitter at about the court case? And now all of a sudden this happened. And I'm praying to God that that didn't happen. Cause you got three women that got to be telling this lie. You feel what I'm saying? So it's I'm praying to God that ain't nobody going to play around with this type of shit. You feel me? But it's just it's just so aggravating to me because it's like both of them, both of them has lied. You know what I mean? It happened, bro. Did I cheat on royalty? Yeah, a lot. I'm glad I did, too. I'm glad I did, bro. I'm so glad. More specifically, since you want to expose T, why don't you expose the real T? Won't you tell them how you went to go get your tubes untied and you took your mom with you to Cali and you left your kids at home along with me? But, but we don't care about that. You know what I mean? We talking about serious ass allegations. Everything prior to this is zoop. It don't matter. You feel what I'm saying? Like, bro, do you hear what the fuck they are saying? My nigga? You know what I mean? Dog, this, this, I don't care about no shit about nothing else. But cameras was all in the house. You had access to them. Why don't you tell them what I did? You won't. Because you're embarrassed, right? You're a clown. I had two thotties pull up. I wasn't even thinking about the cameras, bro. But what you won't find is me on footage going in the kid's wing. You will find me opening up my front door for two baddies and going upstairs. You will find me three hours later coming downstairs. You know, I, I ain't, a, I ain't, <laughs> look, all, we, we almost 13 minutes in and all I'm waiting for him to say is I did not touch such and such. That's it. I'm waiting to hear that motherfucker part. Now, you know what I mean? He's saying y'all use y'all common sense. Y'all do this. Okay. I can do that. I'm going to do that. I'm going to do that anyway. But still say that part. I'm waiting on that part. We ain't got there yet. And that's just the part I'm waiting on. God damn. Like for real, it's yeah, pissing I, me I, off. I expose it, right? You will find one of them thought he's going back to my room robbing royalty. Stolen Rolex, shades, heels, money, whatever they can get. I don't remember it exactly. <laughs> they stole a lot of her stuff. I go to sleep. I get woken up by a lot of text messages, screenshots, videos, calls. You're bogus. I can't believe you. You're nasty. Ew. And I'm like, damn, I forgot he had cameras. But you telling me a man that forgot he got cameras that's bringing thotties in the crib you don't got no proof of me doing what you're claiming I did, though. You just really are the worst type of human being. I, I know you're going to go to jail. I, I can't even say I hope you go to jail. I know you're going to jail. I know it. And your boyfriend, CJ on 32s, who thinks he's so up and rich, he's going to be broke as hell. I'm taking that. And guess what? I'm not flexing when I get it. I'm not, oh, I got a Richard. Oh, I got a Lamborghini. Oh. I'm investing y'all money. Yeah, for the future. Then I'ma dump some in so cool foundation and I'ma give back to the kids. Because y'all are crazy, bro. And when y'all did this, you just showed me that I was right. And you really can't be for crazy people. You can't argue with crazy people. You can't reason with them. How many times have I called Charlene and tried to be cordial with her? Tried to be nice with her. And she either recorded me, exposed me. She C CJ, what the fuck is you talking about right now, bro? I, I I just, you know what? I just, I'm listen. I'm trying. All right, let me go get my life. Exposes everything I do, but forgot to expose something that is so detrimental. <laughs> what I told you about this six months ago. Just like I told you six months ago, leave my name out of your freaking wild ass dreams, you weirdo. You keep on coming up with something. Come on, you touched my kid. This woman recorded my four-year-old daughter butt naked, screaming at her. Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? Who touched you right here? My daughter crying. Ah, nobody. Nobody. I don't know. Uh, Kamari. I 
I had to send it to my lawyer. I'm crying because I cannot believe I'm sending this to my freaking lawyer. My lawyer called me crying, bro. Saying, I am so sorry you have to deal with this. No kid should ever be interrogated by their own parent. Not even interrogated, but you're coaching my kids. You're coaching the little ones. You're coaching your big ones. You just a fuck up person. I cannot wait to see you behind bars. I'm going to come visit you. Until you nah, Lady Beth, I, I double dog dare you to leave out this chat. Nah, y'all sent me this shit. Y'all gonna endure this with me today. You did. Nah, don't be trying to leave here now. Nah. nah, we in this together. You feel me? Nah, nah, I double dare you to leave. You that you did not have to go out like that, bro. I just told you the other day when I was staying on my staycation with the twins. I said, I'm coming back stronger than ever, and I got you. I said, you got my son walking around here with bloody heels because you can't afford those shoes. They always complain about how they are in pain, how you got them stepping on nails, how your feet. Is he crying too? Is that what's on his face? I'm not even being funny. I'm being real. Like, like it, I'm trying to understand this shit, him, bro. How you never around, how there's no love. And I told you, I want to fix that, bro. I know why you treating them bad. Because you feel like I don't got you. You feel like, oh, he ain't giving me no money. So I told you, what I tell you straight up, I got you. Even if it's just a thousand dollars, I'm gonna start sending it to you because I don't want you to go out like that, bro. And this is the thanks I get. Literally two days later, after I just was talking to you every freaking day. Every day. And the real tea. No, be honest, y'all. We got some grown ass folks in this comments. You know what I'm saying? Like, listen, I know, listen. <laughs> I can't, I, it can't just be me. Is it just is it just giving me the Gail interview? You know what I mean? I'm hearing everything but what I need to feel like you know what I mean? Is because I don't I don't want to forget anything. When she broke my daughter's arm, y'all, she texted me and said, and if you make a video, me and Jalea got a video coming next. You're planning, plotting, coaching, scripting. But not releasing until it's the right time, right? Oh shit, he has a new YouTube channel. It's the perfect time. Get off my nuts, bro. You're a weirdo. Back to the kids, man. If anybody ever, if you even think somebody doing this to somebody, report them automatically. Don't go out sad like Charlene looking crazy. If something's actually happening, and I feel sorry for y'all because it is sick. Yeah, y'all send me Charlene video, and we're going to get into all that, too. We're going to get into the meat and the potatoes of this. I'm invested now. Y'all did it. Things happening to kids out there. And now, we got an influencer raining on y'all parade as if it ain't even serious, man. Don't nobody care about them kids that's actually getting touched. Don't nobody care about that. Let's just use this as clickbait. You can't use someone's actual problems as clickbait, bro. You just not supposed to do that. Some things you're not supposed to do. Y'all already done everything else. You've done all the worst things you can do. Now, this is the worst of the worst. What's next? What is next? So you telling me, Tanya, that even you are jumping on board with this. Hold on. 2018, I'm for sure you were always around. I think you possibly lived with us for all of those years. So you telling me you're... God-fearing woman, you're always reading the Bible and always not focused on anything else because you ain't had no job. You work from home. You telling me that this is going on right in front of your face and your daughter's face and all the kids' faces and nobody seen or said anything. Until I made a new channel and started beefing with CJ on 32s. I've been beefing with you longer than that. What was these allegations then? You know what, uh, Dana? It's not that. It's, it's not that he said it in so many ways. See, listen, I, I, I got to be honest with you. Like, I've been around men, you know what I'm saying, certain men that just know how to be very, very slick with their words. And all I'm saying is when you have a situation like this, you know what I'm saying, two seconds into the video, it's, listen, I did not touch that baby. You know what I mean? And even in, he said he said it around a bush, ar around it, but not just directly. That's just all I'm saying. It's like, bro, you telling me about what royalty did, about the home invasions. You're telling me about Charlene. I know about Charlene and Tanya and, and, and CJ on 32s. None of that shit matter. You feel what I'm saying? This is a real life shit. That's all I'm saying. And in an hour, the same way he's saying... Why would you be on a video instead of the police? I feel the same way with him. If somebody is saying some shit like this, I would want to end them. 
Because this, this shit is permanent. So that's all I'm saying. I'm not on nobody's side. I'm going in real time on what I'm seeing. And it's just like right now, I just, I, I'm, I'm getting everything but, but just saying it. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm tripping. Y'all drop it down in the comments. I can't be tripping. You feel me? But that's just where I'm at with I'm it. literally talking to you because I don't watch your videos. My brother called me yesterday. Did you see her? No, I didn't see no. I don't go on the internet, bro. You know I don't. What I'm watching for? She's lying. I don't need to watch. Watching as if she got some proof of me doing something I didn't do. I don't have to watch this video, bro. Well, this will happen. I just want you to know. I'm like, hey, I don't care. But then when I started thinking about how God works, and then I said, okay, there's a story in the Bible about Job. Job was a very, very great follower of God. He literally did anything God wanted him to do, and he was blessed for it, right? And then the devil came and said, God, I can turn him. I bet you I can turn him. I'm going to convert his soul to the Satan's soul. God said, do anything but kill him. Satan tried everything. It didn't work. I'm Job right now. That's what I am right now. I'm, I'm saying that to the universe. I am Job right now. I'm not asking God why. Why, God? Why me? No, 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 no. I know why. Because I can handle this. I've been handling everything that's came at me, y'all. I always have. I'm just saying, bro. I've always handled everything. Y'all know. Y'all be seeing me. I get so many comments saying, CJ, you are so strong, bro. You go through all this and you still smiling. Bro, I just can't quit. There are so many people looking up to me, and y'all know so that. Wait, buddy, baby, can you stop? Me, but that don't matter. There's way more people looking up to me. Way more people that even won't even say nothing. They won't say anything because they just watching and hoping to God that I proved them wrong, and they know I'm going to prove them wrong, and they just rooting for me. And that's what it is. I'm rooting for myself because I know it's a battle, bro. It ain't easy going against clowns like this, bro. I already said, I don't want to do the drama. I'm staying away from all this. And then they like, oh, no, nah, he trying to be on a better person. No, bro, bring him back. That's that crap. It's tears. It's tears on his face, y'all. Y'all are, listen, look, Drip said, y'all are a, represent a representation of me. And he, don't be any comments that crazy. It ain't no end scene. Stop. I see it's tears on this man's face. You feel me? Yo. In the barrel mentality, bro. <laughs> That's why I can't live in my old city. Not saying that I have ops. I'm just saying like I don't want to be around a bunch of people that I feel like may try to pull me down. I moved to Vegas and I found the same type of people, bro. Learn how to avoid people. Learn Sometimes though, CJ, you are what you attract, baby boy. And 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 it's like, look, no no man, no woman, nobody should be lied upon. You know what I'm saying? And right now. Shawty, I, I just, I, I got some more information got to come out. You feel me? I would not want to even think, you know what I'm saying, that this even occurred. But I'm just praying that you don't have one, two, three generations lying about some shit like this. And, and, and this what happened. And I just hope that baby ain't been coached. And I hope that she's not fabricating it. But at this point, bro, the YouTube ain't the place to be for me, my nigga. Because if somebody's saying this type of shit on my name, bro, I want to end you, bro. The lawyers would be called. You feel what I'm saying? I wouldn't give a fuck about a CJ on 32, a Tanya, or Charlene, a Darlene. I wouldn't give a fuck about none of that. This type of shit is permanent. This is going to be a permanent stain, my nigga. Like, I wouldn't be on this stool. You feel me? It's just like, I don't know, bro. I don't, it's just, ah. Uh. Let's keep going. You say, I'm good, bro. Every time I tell the story, when people say, why you stay with her if she was already crazy when you met her? Why you stay with her if the first thing she told you to do was say, fuck Jesus Christ and you believe in Yahweh Shai and God is not real and most high is the words and don't read the Bible this way and do. Why you stay, bro? You sound crazy. I stayed because I was freaking homeless. What was I going to go to, Gary? No, I made an executive decision. This is where I'm going to be at. I'm going to just take it. Yeah, it's weird. Yeah, they're crazy, but I'ma just handle it. Yeah, she got three kids that ain't mine. And for those of you out there that are stepdads, I feel so sorry for you guys, bro. I'm done with that. I ain't dating nobody with kids. I'm not doing it, bro. How weird do you have to be to accept me in your life? I just met you today. You let me move in your house tomorrow. And 10 years later, you say I did this. Yeah, I mean, women got to take accountability for that type of shit, too. 
I don't understand it. And we talked about this on the on the, on the uh, Breakfast and Bud Morning Show. Y'all make sure y'all tune in. 10.30 to 12, Monday through Thursday, we be talking about shit like this. Because listen, y'all, this is the thing that's kind of bothering me. Women, you lay with, you get a keys to these niggas, bro. It ain't no way in the fucking world that no man should know your kids after a one day. Shit, bro, even after one year, bro, you don't know that nigga. You dig what I'm saying? It's like we be giving these niggas invitations and shit. And some of these dudes do. They had date y'all just for y'all daughters. And y'all letting the men thinking y'all got a man and shit. And I'm not saying that that was royalty situation. But as he's pointing the finger, bro, you ain't protect your seed neither. Y'all men kill me too. Shawty, y'all hate the baby mama, but y'all nothing in them. Because y'all don't know them neither. So it's like, bro, at this, at this point. Neither one of them is greater than the other right now. Dog. I need to see some more. I, I don't know, bro. On some real shit. Over a lobster dinner, man. You introduce a nigga to your whole life. You will meet a nigga on the first day. Y'all going out. He get you some lobster. Y'all getting drinks and shit. And you introduce that nigga to your whole life of trauma on that first date. You done told that nigga who done hurt you. what Who done touched you. And everything on the first date. That type of conversation shouldn't come to, to year two. Your goddamn trauma should be the prize over your little poop box. How the fuck you giving this nigga this shit? Then you be wondering why they got blueprints to break your ass down, bro. Shit crazy. This shit ain't making sense, bro. It damn sure ain't. And I don't want this on my spirit. I don't want anyone attaching me to this. I ain't P. Diddy and R. Kelly. Those people have thousands of accusations against them. See? Nah, see. Manifestation is real. <laughs> see, don't like... No. Mm-mm. Don't say you are P. Diddy and R. Kelly. You don't never want to be them. You feel what I'm saying? Because don't say you them. Say that you have allegations like them, but don't say you them. Shit, don't. Uh uh. You talking about Joe? Be Joe. Don't be them. Y'all call it the, the Me Too movement. They have a bunch of people saying, Me too. But I've had hundreds of kids stay at my house. And I have not ever did anything inappropriate to anyone. So what the yeah. freak? I had a lady, Janine, reach out to me who always had her daughter around me, bro. She just texted me yesterday. She cannot believe they doing this to me. She heard exact words were, I cannot believe that all you've ever tried to do was help people. And this is how they coming for you. My daughter has never felt uncomfortable around you. I have never said anything negative about you. I can't believe they saying this. And I'm like, what the? F I thought I was the only one. That's why I'm saying I know people are rooting for me. I know people understand good and evil. I know people know that I ain't never did anything like that and wouldn't wish it on anybody. What more can I say, bro? My baby mama almost died yesterday, bro. I have a lot on my mind, bro. Like, everything is happening. I expose myself, bro. Come on. Like, no one does that. This is the internet. Everybody wants you to think they're winning. No one comes out and say, guys, I'm depressed. Guys, I sold this. Guys, I sold that. Nobody do that. It was fucked up. All I cared about was, oh, I gotta look good. Bro, now these same people are thirsty to come at me. I just seen a uh, bad man. You know his name ain't bad man. You're scam man. Scam man. Kevin. Said I, I, about man, man, I didn't come on and said I was broke. I spoke in the sun. And see, this is what I'm saying. I don't like when y'all dudes do this. You know what I mean? It's, 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 it's not very manly like. Y'all be talking and pillow talking more than females and shit. You, band man, Kivo, the CJL 32s. And then it's like y'all arguing, y'all just telling all type of shit. I remember when you and band, Mo, band man Kivo was matching and shit. Y'all had matching outfits and now y'all just hate each other. <laughs> Yo, this shit here, this, this world ghetto as fuck. That ain't me. I'm CJ So Cool. I'm Cordero James Brady. I created CJ So Cool, which means I can do it When they matching and shit. I created you. <laughs> you was in jail right at me. Bro, I just want to make my fan base legit. All of my fans are scammers and hood people. I just want to come off more legit. Can I hang with you? Sure. Why not? You ask me. I'm a helper, bro. They always get stepped on after I help someone. I'm literally a hater. That's what I am. I literally let people use me. Oh, they got control over my spirit. I'm a saint. I'm an angel. I'm a healer, a provider. I'm nice. I took care of y'all. I know y'all say, well, them kids made you. Them kids used to be running in the background of my reaction video, so I had to say, these are these kids. This is who they are. Matter of fact, I'm up. Let's do a prank. Ooh, it worked. Let's incorporate the family. That was all me. Ain't no kid coming to me and say, let's do YouTube videos, dad. 
They didn't want to do it. Remember, y'all, you forced them to do those videos. Which one is it? They built me or I forced them? Like, cause. Yeah, I was just about to say, I'm going to skim through this a little, a tad bit because he's kind of just like saying the same thing. You know what I'm saying? And, um, yeah. The police came to my house and said, when I called them and told them that you were fabricating this lie six months ago. So you didn't know that I did that already. This, but you ain't taking me down with you. It's not happening. I'm innocent. And I will remain innocent. And every lie you tell on me or any more lies you can think of, they will not hurt me in any way. They gonna just hurt you. Because if, if any of this was true, I would have hoped to God that you would have told them. I blame social media. <laughs> you feel me? I blame social media, man. That shit got me so insensitive to shit. Because, bro, I remember Diddy saying the same shit. <laughs> When that affidavit came out with Cassie, that nigga me, he looked me dead in the camera and said, I would never do something like that. Never do something like that. Never. You know what I mean? And I mean, I ain't gonna hold you. I believed him. I said, man, he, I, no. Then the video came out and then this is, that's why when these shits happen, it's like, man, damn, bro, I can't even, I don't know what to believe. Authorities. Talking about there's an open investigation since when? Well, man, I'm just thinking the same. I can't help house, it. Except when I called them and told them that you were fabricating this lie six months ago. So you didn't know that I did that already. When you told me, oh, yeah, um, yeah, your daughter touched my daughter, your girl touched my daughter, and yeah, as a matter of fact, I think you even touched my daughter. I told the police, I said, hey, bro, I got to call y'all. This girl has lost her freaking mind. What is it, sir? Look at these messages. We need a paper trail. I can't, uh-uh, no way. Hey. Well, that's a good job. Good thing that you did that. Straight up. Keep your paper trail. Everybody keep your paper trail, but that's when you are supposed to call your lawyer on the horn for defamation and all type of shit. Can't you sue for that type of shit? Somebody gonna get me some money for speaking on my name, bro. They trying way too hard. I didn't think it would take you six months to do this, but it did, which is so weird. Because you knew this is not gonna work. This lie is not gonna be believable, bro. It's just not. She knew that. But then she said, well, maybe it'll be believable coming from CJ on 32s. He's a little bit more credible. No, it's going to be believable if this girl can be able to point out something on your body that she ain't supposed to be able to see. Shit, that's when it's going to be believable. Like, I don't give a fuck about a CJ 32s testimony, a mama royalties testimony. I want to know what this baby done told the police because that's the only thing that matter. You dig what I mean? At this point, that's the only thing that matter. Everybody else's opinion don't matter. Me, right, he got fans, right? Like, come on, man. A blind person can see through that. CJ on 32s hated me, and why did he hate me? Because I exposed that he was a fake friend that I helped out. But I don't see him lying or spreading a rumor that bad just because, you know what I'm saying, over a failed friendship. I mean, we doing that this day? I mean, maybe it is. I mean, because shit begin, this internet, everything is just so weird. I'm trying to latch on to your good. That's what happened. So yeah, he took 100K and blew it. I didn't say he put it in his pocket. I don't know what he did with it. Honestly, I don't know. It's gone. I don't got it. There was no profit. <laughs> so what do y'all expect from me? And it's like, there's so many stories, but the list goes on. I've been trying to hold in because I don't need to be indulged in drama. He's talking about your page is drama based. No, it ain't. I never had drama on my page until when? So she went to Funny Mike House and then I started dissing her. And then after that, we got back together. Do y'all remember what happened? Let me tell y'all something. That's all you apparently they go time and leave all the old memories in the past. Y'all do realize she just cussed me out the other day. Stop freaking posting us on your Snapchat. Why are you watching my Snapchat? How does this affect you on posting videos that are already public? That are already recorded from years ago? How does this affect you? I don't want you making money off me. Oh. Yeah, women lie too. That's what I'm saying. It's, it's, I mean, that's what makes this so iffy because, you know what I mean? I'm, I, when, you, when you look at the tone of, of, you know what I'm saying, royalties video, you know what I'm saying? There were moments where it didn't seem, it didn't seem organic. Let's be real. It seemed like the moments just with him. Like you can tell they used to be in a relationship because their mannerisms is the same. It's like they know exactly when to cry. You know what I mean? It's just, it's, it's certain things. You know what I mean? My biggest thing that I'm just holding on to, I'm just hoping, bro, that a woman or or anybody, even a young child, would, would I mean, because she's at the age now to where she understands though what those type of allegations mean. 
So I'm just praying in my heart that people is not getting that crazy to where this is the type of shit that you come up with for, for anything, for views or some shit. It's just, it's just crazy. Oh, you don't want me making money. That's crazy. That's crazy. So that's what this is all about, money. It's all about money. You willing to throw your daughter under the bus, yourself under the bus, your mom under the bus, me under the bus, CJ on 32's under the bus for some money? Oh no, because you don't want me to have it. Imagine being that spiteful that you will do anything to keep someone from making money. Money is printed every day. That's enough for everyone. You don't have to hate on me that bad, bro. I'm not hating on CJ on 32's, but I'm gonna come with what he got because he came from my reputation. You see, that's how you move. Learn from me. See, to me, that's what's pissing me off, y'all. He more trying to get CJ32. Don't you want to take the person that's saying that you the P-word down? Like, CJ on 32s would be the least of my worries right now. You feel what I'm saying? Like, I, that's the part that's pissing me off, man. If somebody got something to say about you online, you don't got to clap back. You come correct. You definitely come correct. Come how I'm coming. Nah, bro. It but as shit it goes, my, it, it I know what's going to be said in the comments. He's so arrogant. He's deceased. That he doesn't take accountability. I don't believe him. It is what it is. It's 2024. Most of y'all out there are weird. Thanks, Renee right. Love. Leaving comments. Negative ones. Imagine. I'm going to go watch this video. Ugh, I don't like it. Let me comment something bad. Just leave. If you don't like it, if you watched it already, just be on about today. Because wasting time doing this with your fingers is the worst thing you could do if you don't like somebody. You're giving me something. A comment, you already gave me the view, but now you're adding to my analytics. Imagine, I don't care if you say something bad. It does it hurt me? Yeah, but does it hurt you too? No, they like that. They like, oh, somebody commented and gave a And I have no energy for this. It's so early in the morning right now. Day four, because I was like, you know what? Last time CJ on 32 said, if you say one more thing, I'm gonna expose you. And I said one more thing. Imagine if I didn't say anything. What, you just would have not said anything? <laughs> like, what the fuck? They are all so dumb. CJ, you just told your camera, I was gonna pull up on bro and take him to the club, to the strip club, to go gamble, but he said something else. You thought I was a, a predator, but you was gonna take me out? But you had this information the whole time? I mean, you did ask him if he wanted to see your wee-wee. And you used the term wee-wee. I didn't like that. And now it really aggravates me. I wish you wouldn't use that. I'm just being honest. I'm telling the truth on both sides. You know what I mean? It's, I don't know who to trust. But it's just like, you know, I don't like some terminology. Just beg me not to say nothing so you didn't have to say nothing? You were an idiot, bro. Did you graduate from high school? Because <laughs> you don't have a brain either. We already know you can't count. Just because you make money don't mean anything. I JJ Fish put out a song that almost No, he definitely has a point there. Now I mean he's super talented. <laughs> Come on, bro. Y'all are so done. You're done. You're done. Actually, look, what they would have been saying is I don't want nobody to watch them boycott their videos. I'm not even saying that. I'ma just say this. If you gonna support someone like that, you're the prejudice. That's all I'm gonna say. You wanna support someone? Support the one person that everybody coming for at the same time. I feel like Leonidas the 300 right now, bro. It's me. My little brother said, bro, I always oh, said, see? There go God right there. I don't even got to make a response. But then when he said he was, I was like, let me, you know what I said? I don't let people fight my battles. I got it too. You, you, you can do a video because I appreciate that. Because honesty is the only thing I care about. That's the only thing that should be on YouTube. <laughs> honesty. We should be lying and fabricating stories to try yo, to get you fixed. Yo, get out the comments, Miss Insulin. For the rest of their lives? Come on, man. Y'all need to delete y'all videos. Delete y'all life. Because I'm coming for you. And I'm so serious. And there's so much evidence. Like, where's y'all's evidence? Because I got all the evidence. I got it. I don't know, man. Somebody. Well, you need to take that evidence down to the nearest precinct and get ahead of this. Because, I mean, um, this these are some serious-ass allegations. And it's, just, it's, it's crazy as hell because I, I, I don't know. This time, honest to God, it's not my fault. It's not. I didn't bring it up. I mean, yeah, I guess I did because, like I said, CJ32 said, hey, you say one more thing. So, technically, I could have just said, well, I'm not going to say anything. 
imagine? Imagine I didn't make another video. He would have flew out here. We would have been holding hands in the club, right? You're a weirdo, bro. You can never be around me. Even if you're in my city, you can never see me, bro. You know what it is. You know what I text you, bro. Your little scary what? Bro, I'm going to tell you this before I end this video. Anybody that act tough, always want to be tough on camera, they're weak, scared, pathetic, and pitiful. Anybody that walk up on a random stranger that's drunk and that just crashed a car because they're drunk and they punch them trying to show out, they're weak. They're weak. I ain't... See, the thing that's bothering me a little bit, and it's rotting my socks, you see, he seems more mad at CJ on 32s than a woman that is saying that you touched her kid. And that's just what's not sitting right with me, bro. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not saying, like, because see, at this point, bro, both of them is just not as, as, as credible. They're not, they're, both of these are not credible witnesses. You feel me? I'm just being real. Both of these people ain't credible. So it's just like, it's just. <sighs> I ain't never bullied nobody in my life, but I've always protected myself and ain't ever got beat up. Not once. Talk about everything but the situation. You me, I'm breaking your jaw. You touch me, I'm. Bro, that's just how I go. It's how it's supposed to be, right? Everybody protects themselves. As a kid on up, I teach CJ all the time. When they walk up on him and punch him because she got that energy from her mom, I say, CJ, don't let nobody touch you. He'd be crying. I'd be like, CJ, push her. Don't let her do that. If she walk up to you like this, just push her. I'm not going to always be there for you, bro. I tell him this. I teach my kids. Can you just enlighten us in the comments what he said about the deal, though? Because I just, I please don't make me go rewind it. Kids, I know y'all say, you don't teach your kids anything. Yes, I do. I teach my kids, bro, because there's real life scenarios that they need to know about that I know their mama ain't teaching them. I know their siblings, their older siblings are over there being mean, rough, cussing at them. That's how they come over here with all that animosity, because they're not being raised by adults over there. They're being raised by kids, by kids. The same kids that I said I couldn't deal with because they was getting too old. Not Leon, not even Nation. They were just two little perfect angels. Nation was all What you mean by because they was getting too old? See, the terminology, see, I'm fucked up. I got PTSD. Social media did it. They're responsible. Look, I'm finna open up these lines, man. I didn't had enough. Uh, I've been heard. Uh, uh, we've been through this bitch about an hour. And, I mean, he's... He said a whole lot of nothing, um, in a way. You know what I'm saying? And I really want to believe him because, let me tell you something, man. This, this, this is not a cute situation to me. And he can be a lot of things, but I don't want him to be that. You know what I mean? So, I want to know how y'all feel. Drop it down in the comment section right now. Drop it down. I want to know. Y'all stay tuned.